in three, two, one. Hi, folks. Welcome to the greater good. My name's Tony. And I'm Joe. And this is the channel where we come up with creative ideas, thoughts, and share suggestions and advice to help people improve their lives and join in in becoming part of the greater good. Let's dive in. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Greater Good. This is your host, Tony, along with my twin brother and co-host, Joe. And if you've been following along with us for a while, we've been kind of discussing ways and insights on how to look at life and how to approach life in a different view and focusing on a greater good um, for yourself as well as like a collective overall greater good. But we kind of are going to be making a little bit of a shift into um, different areas and different topics, some which might be somewhat kind of controversial and some we were just kind of like thinking about that hey maybe there's others that that are thinking about the same topic and um have a little bit of a, a discussion on that uh that topic and uh you know share share thoughts on on some of these topics that just kind of you know we figure that there's we're having these discussions, or maybe there's other people that are having these discussions. So we want to share them. And if you do want to join in, uh, obviously, of course, you know, comment in there, and then uh, you know, or, or send us uh, some of your thoughts on there uh, on another platform. But uh, today's that we were going to start with uh, today's topic is um, about traditions and mostly Western American traditions and holidays and like uh you know challenging the the collective thought on the holidays that that we celebrate uh here in america like basically you know are they still relevant like should we should we still be mm -hmm. celebrating that um and that's that's kind of the the first question joe that i'm going to ask you on this is uh you know has has most of the meaning at, that we connect with the holidays is that mostly lost on the the today's society or you feel still feel like people are really connected with with the majority of holidays celebrated and uh, you know that the, they don't really need to change much <laughs> um yeah it's a good question to start off with tony yeah i know that the um this has been something on your mind and and since we brought it up, I've been thinking about it a lot too. And yeah, I, I, I believe that in the West, the way that we celebrate holidays nowadays, there's, we're kind of, we are kind of drifting away or maybe losing sight of what the true meaning of the, like where these holidays originated from. Um, I didn't say the true meaning of Christmas, it sounds so cliche, but, uh, <laughs> I think that it, it's it's hard to it's hard to talk about everyone in general because it is it's it everybody has their own holidays that they celebrate first of all and second of all um, you know those holidays mean different things to different people but as far as how we portray it in society yeah we definitely have um, it's definitely been washed over with with a consumeristic kind of uh uh flavor so to speak right so i do think for, for speaking from personal experiences i i feel a lot more connected to people other people during the holidays i don't know if that's a byproduct of the way that we of, of the weight that we put on it as a society or if it's just you know uh, how I was raised and my experiences with holidays in general, personally. Um, but I do, yeah. I I live in Thailand, and uh, holiday Western holidays uh, go by largely 
unnoticed over here. So, for example, you know, you don't see Christmas decorations in September in the shopping malls. <laughs> you know, you're not. There's not. They don't know know what Thanksgiving is, uh, or nobody's dressing up on Halloween. I ride around sometimes with a Christmas hat on December 25th on my motorcycle, and people look at me a bit strange, but they enjoy it. It's fun to celebrate things, and it's fun to spend time with people that you appreciate, and the holidays are a great excuse to do that. Um, but I do think that if you're not careful, you can... It, the, 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 the original meaning can be lost, but I do think that holidays in general as an idea are important, right? I think that it's important to have holidays, to take breaks from work, to be reminded of, you know, uh, or be just even have excuses to kind of get together with family. Sometimes we, al we allow our everyday routine to get in the way of seeing the people that we love the most and expressing that love to them, right? So I think that just the fact of having a holiday is important, right? And, you know, whether you buy into the consumer media or, you know, the, the, the kind of all the capitalistic side of it, <laughs> that's, that's, you know, that's a, something that we'll have to talk about. But, yeah, I think that the, maybe the original meaning has lost, been lost, but I think that holidays are important. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, what about you, Tony? What do you think are uh, the consequences of the way that we treat holiday or traditional holiday celebrations in, in modern day society in the West? Hmm. Do you have any mental, physical, emotional consequences? Are they positive? Are they negative? What, what are your thoughts about that? Well, all the above, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, yeah, let's say they didn't give me what I wanted this year. <laughs> uh, <you> know, <laughs> Traumatized for life, right? The You'll shoot of, your life. <laughs> yeah, the not, detriment of, of not getting the, you know, the coveted gift or, you know, whatever, uh, psychological trauma. Um, yeah, no, I think there are many cons. I do agree with you, uh, first of all, that, you know, holidays in themselves are, I guess important for society, um, you know, that, that we collectively join together to, you know, in celebration. But like, you know, what we do when we join together and and understanding what we're celebrating, I think, is what has been lost. And I think that what has been replaced with it is what is leading to to some of these consequences. Uh, you know, I think most of them, like you said, it's just been cons overall like consumerized and you know uh you know glamorized for unnecessary reasons where it's just like mm -hmm. spend 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 busy 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 like you know it's you kind of like some people like they actually get more stressed out you know <laughs> around the end of the year with all like the the bombardment of things and like feeling like they got to get every single you know gift and piece and you know food and all that stuff everything goes it gets like a high stress when it's like it's it's supposed to be enjoyable you know like a holiday is supposed to be an enjoyable time and you're making it like because everything has to be like now 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 bye 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 you know get everything done and so much you know you get so busy you don't have that you know the, the time to do it so you get stressed out um but yeah, I think, you know, it, overall, there's like, there's not real, it, it, it's hard to, looking at, like, if you look at it from like an outside perspective, like if you're just someone who comes in, like, didn't know what was going on, didn't know a holiday, like, you start to want to question some of these things, right? Like, if you're telling me it's for one reason, then why are you making it and, and, doing these other actions like they, they're not adding up like one I don't you know I, I kind of still don't understand and don't get and like I, I guess you know it's kind of hard to understand it's uh 
like like the outside perspective like if you're living in a a country where there's a majority of people who are experiencing some type of weight problem or or obesity and like you know diabetes like it, what would be a point of having a holiday where you go around and collect candy and massive amounts of it like you know garbage bags full of it and then you <laughs> consume it you know like that this is a little, that doesn't add up right so as far as like you know those things i, I think like those are the consequences like that could be detrimental like you know continue to, uh down the road there um mm-hmm. you know we just about kind of like the end of the year ones like most of the, the bigger holidays full you know thanksgiving and christmas for you know people are trying to like figure out you know who, who what family to see like you know where to go for this one like i'm hosting this you know like a lot of people have trouble trying to figure out the logistics of what they're doing for each holiday and that becomes a more stressful thing um or i think that if you look like statistically wise uh, stress levels go through the roof in november mm. and december uh and then the repercussions mm. about overspending and uh, stuff like that so um again like you know like you said there is an important role that that holidays do play and that like you know when we understand it we're coming together for the, a real reason that, that 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 does have meaning and importance but there are consequences or doing them the ways that current society is doing them and that they, they probably should be recognized, looked at and either changed or, or done away with. Yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah. Do you, I mean, are you, what do you think? Do you think that there are, if you had to pick one holiday, what would it, what would it be to, to either completely change or eliminate, you know, and, and why, and what would be the reason? Um, I, I, I love holidays, uh, that I do agree that there's lots of negative or, consequences. Are you, are you sorry? Or, or, you know, on the flip side of it, you think holidays are okay, like the way they are and they shouldn't be. And I, I should give you that option too. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, I, if, if I could change one aspect about, uh, about a, a particular holiday or get, eliminate a holiday. I don't understand Black Friday. How that has actually become like a, a holiday. Um, that I think that that is just. <laughs> is a holiday? I don't, know. I don't know what it's called or what it is, but it's it's bigger than holidays. People go crazy over it, and in it, it's just madness, right? And I think that that ties into one of the um, the underlying issues with with how we celebrate holidays in the modern world, in, society, in the Western world, at least now. Um, I, I wrote down the word exploitative, right? Like, I think that there's a lot of people that exploit the time where we, we, we're trying to kind of come together and share a meal or, or share, you know, time and gifts with other people. And they, they you know, I think this is a, a broader issue with society, the way that we are conditioned to buy, 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 eat, 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 overindulge, impulse spend, and it just kind of gets magnified by a hundred or a thousand during the holiday times, and people go into overdrive. I guess there's, it's not a coincidence that some of the, the busiest holidays of the year are during the darkest, you know, dullest time of the year in the winter, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, the holidays are supposed to be a time where you're enjoying, you're feeling kind of love and gracious. It shouldn't be a time where you're stressed out and worried about buying the right thing. And I think that that is like, if you look at traditional holiday decorations or or music or gifts, right? They were done in the spirit of that holiday. They were, you know, painted with love or they were made to express that sound. Now holiday albums are churned out like by John Travolta and you know Blink 182 or whatever and I don't know there's just like and and you know the decorations are just you know they're big blow up you know Santa's and 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 your Yule log is just like this 
uh, app on your phone that you know plays on your TV, and I think it's been commercialized and 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 it's done. You, you look at prices during the holiday times and they surge. They're taking advantage of people. You wouldn't normally spend that much money on something in the holiday, right? But people yeah. buy those things because we're told that we need it and we won't be happy without it. We're conditioned to believe that, and it feels hollow because it is when i feel like whenever something is done in the name of money it immediately takes out the innate value of it and i think that that's what's been changed in the holidays is that we're no longer doing it for a holiday we're doing it to to get money to you know and so that's why it feels empty and that's why people are stressed out because they don't know what to do social media has exasperated that problem too because we're 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 leading we're Plastic lives. We're 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 trying to fit ourselves into an image that we created rather than living, you know, genuinely to our true self, right? And holiday holiday just throws that back into us like tenfold as well. Um, mm. So yeah, I would change. I would I would I would change the the. I would change the 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 need to to buy christmas list i would i would i would i would need change like i think it's fun to get involved i one of my favorite holidays is halloween we, as a kid i really enjoyed getting creative with the costumes and dressing up for me it wasn't about the candy yeah candy's nice but that's a negative consequence another one of my favorite holidays is saint patrick's day um part irish you know and i really like kind of Getting, hearing the music and kind of drinking green beer, but you know, people have turned it into this like alcohol fest, a pub crawl where you just get, you know, like, and so you have this, like, I think people have just taken it and we've kind of ex made it into extremes. Um, and so I would change the fact that it needs to be extreme. But Tony, how much of that do you think is controllable on an individual level? And how much of that is, you know, needs to change on a societal level? I mean, you know, it, it, it is tough because like you said, you are bombarded by it. So it's like, I mean, you have, you ultimately got to send it to stand. You have control of yourself, like your thoughts, your, your actions, like, you know, so you're the one who's going to have to obviously take the, the first step if you're kind of agreeing with this and seeing the, the points that we're making here. Um, but I think that to have a bigger impact and, you know, you doing it yourself, you're just, you you probably would be looked at more like an outcast, you know, and like, oh, why aren't you celebrating with us? Like, dude, it's it's St. Patrick's Day, it's 4th of July, like drink another eight, seven, well, beers, whatever, you know, like, don't worry about it. Like, you, would, you would be kind of be like almost shunned in a way if you're like, no, I'm like, I'm going to celebrate how I want to celebrate. And that's not overindulging, not over consuming, you know, not sharing massive amounts of, of sweets and treats and all that. Um, so there, there's that side of it where it's like most people, I think, may be feeling this a little bit but they don't go about it because they're just they're conforming you know it's easier to just do it yeah. the way you're done hence tradition um instead of thinking about it and like saying like is this does this make sense and i think that if we do want to uh have an impact it does have to be done on like a an overall uh, societal level like you know i think that um in this current situation we're in right here with 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 uh you know the, the covid19 uh pandemic going on like we're kind of realizing like things can be done a little bit differently like let's say something happens we gotta shut down everything in the fall that means no no going around house to house for halloween that means probably doing <laughs> you know, Thanksgiving dinner through, um, you know, remotely, like how you know, we're having a conversation right now. Um, yeah. I, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's almost that there is, 
you know, people are kind of seeing that, like they, there is alternative ways to do that. Um, so I think that, you know, we do need to, as a society, as a collective, make the change. Um, if it's going to, if it's going to have a lasting impact, uh, and I think it is possible. I think that we can kind of like come together and be like, let's reconsider what we're doing. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, actually think about if if it's worth it. Um, you know, what are the consequences, positive and negative, like we we touched about. Um, you know, there are there are positive things all right so how do we how do we put those together and 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 make it make sense and then how do we eliminate the the negative side of it and the over consumerism um of it there so but yeah it is a, it is a challenge for sure um because yeah. most people like that like you know everyone's everyone's eager to get back to normal right now and and you know hoping they can have their memorial day celebrations and you know for most people that's just a day off to, to, to get together yeah. and, and uh, have a barbecue not really realizing why we celebrate memorial day yeah. um mm -hmm. and at the very at the very least you know the fourth of july parades uh, together so yeah. it's just you know now is the time i think more than ever, we can kind of reflect and, and review and, and see what what does matter and, and what not. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so that's, uh, that's where, what I think. I mean, are there, making that shift, Joey, do you see ways that, like, like if you can create a new holiday or tradition, what would that be and 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 why? Um, I think that holidays have a great opportunity to be transformed into uh, an educational experience as well, right? So I, I think that like I know that uh, speaking, it's kind of related that there uh, there are some schools some principles and you know some people in, in in communities that don't want christmas to be celebrated at school and and yeah. uh you know you know people don't think that mother's day or father's day should be celebrated stuff like that but i would say that no i think schools should celebrate holidays they should teach holidays but they should be they should they should teach more holidays than they do currently it shouldn't be exclusive to like a white socio uh, socioeconomic status class you know holiday they should we should learn about kwanzaa we should learn about eid we should learn about uh passover we should learn we should learn about these in school but i think holidays should also have an educational aspect at home too so if i could change something about a holiday uh if i could create a holiday it would be uh you know, we we could have like recognize uh, youth who are making great advancements in the world today, and we can do it like you know it could be kind of a, a changing holiday. So we could do the the youth advancement day and pick it like one day in the summer, and we can where we can kind of you know almost like almost like a Nobel Prize, but make it a holiday where we celebrate this, and more people would want to get involved, and we can and and empower children to feel like they can make a difference. So that would be my holiday that I would create. But I would also amend current holidays where families should have to teach what why do we celebrate Memorial Day? What is Independence Day all about? What does that even mean? What's the, the background behind Thanksgiving? We should have we can have like readily available worksheets or activities that parents can find on the internet, and then they should be encouraged to make holidays an educational experience for their kids. That's a bonding experience as well. And their kids can continue that tradition when they have children. So yeah, that's what I would change. I like it. I like it. Do you have any any anything you would like to add about holidays before we wrap up? Yeah, I, I mean I do agree with you that, you know, there's there's a need for, for understanding. 
Um, you know, I think if you ask, you know, you pull, you know, a random uh, audience in the street, most of them don't have the, uh, the understanding of what exactly, you know, they're celebrating or yeah. what they mean. But I feel like a lot of them would feel strongly about their particular holidays, like this part of their cultural identity almost, or, or they're just their personal identity too. So trying to take it away, you'd have a fight, even if they don't know why. Does that make sense? That's why I think education, including including non-traditional holidays to celebrate as well. You know, we can do like a holiday exchange where you teach me about your holiday and I'll teach you about my holiday, right? Yeah, hey, that's that's a good idea too. I, I agree. Um, you know, it's 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 funny because you said like if you take the you know the money out of it, like where does it then you kind of like can can trace back to you know a, a, a truer meaning or understanding. Like all right, like minus the money, like where what 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 is at the core of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, mine would be like a, you know, kind of like a Thanksgiving where you don't have to consume food. It would be like more of the opposite of Thanksgiving, like a consume, like you nothing. Get food. Yeah, Tell like, a, yeah, like <laughs> a, fasting, a gratitude and fasting holiday. Like we're all uh -huh. gonna kind of, you know, be, be express the gratefulness of it. We're, you know, we're gonna. Uh, literally like you're 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 just giving gratitude all day and like you know you're not you're you're it's fasting you're not trying to consume any food or anything you're not allowed to spend a dollar on that day <laughs> like um you know it would be one of those type of, of holidays is i think those are i think something like that is more important in, in today's yeah. society you know yeah. trying to literally consume as much as you you can you know like uh yeah. you know food wise and 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 you know uh material wise because you like you eat a whole bunch of food then you go out and you spend a whole bunch of money on material things um for the, yeah. for the black friday but something like that like um you know and another, one other thing i would think about is like it, could we could we make different holidays on different like can we shift them to make different like can we put you know i don't know i know that this would get no sense like can we do christmas on like december 15th that way there's two weeks until you know the end of the year instead <laughs> of like christmas and you know Jesus you, birthday no it's not yeah you, and then you and then you you know you barely have time to, to recover from from christmas and it's like oh here's a new another celebration party for for new year's eve but that's just that's just probably another sidebar topic of like shifting the calendar to, to make holidays light up better you know? <laughs> like, from, from like july to, to october there's like really nothing unless you count count labor day but um I don't know. Yeah, some some like that. Some some gratitude appreciation day. Um, yeah. you know, fasting type day where you just take part in it. And, and I do agree that education behind the meaning is really important because that's uh that's pretty much why this discussion came about is that there is a lost connection somewhere and that we just kind of replace that with yeah indulging in, in everything yeah. so i think that you, i mean you, you gave me an idea about like kind of celebrating a reverse holiday and that could probably really bring you more awareness to what, about what that holiday is about so like for example like you said with thanksgiving where you would normally overindulge in food you might fast or prepare food for somebody else or both right i know that we did in i like, told you in, in in thailand they don't celebrate Halloween, but the boys being American wanted to figure it out what like I wanted them to experience what it was about So what we did was kind of a reverse Halloween where they dressed up and then we bought a bunch of like kind of Maybe you, it doesn't have to be candy. It could be snacks or whatever and they went and they gave it out to people 
you know, kind oh, of like wow. a reverse trick or treat. Yeah, so that was kind of yeah. a fun experience. Uh, yeah. You know, th St. Patrick's Day, maybe if you normally have a couple drinks on the weekend or go crazy, maybe that's a day where you abstain from alcohol, right? Something like that. So I think reverse holidays can make us more aware of what's really behind the holiday, the spirit of the holiday, rather than the kind of overindulgence consumerism aspect of it, right? Yeah. And I think, you know, this kind of leads into another discussion for another another time is like, you know, yeah. overall society, like how would you, you know, the day to day life, uh, you know, is there, there are different ways yeah. to approach that. But again, that's a that's a, a different uh, discussion. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, any any, any uh, final thought, final words, any other curiosities that you have before we kind of get this to a close what's your favorite holiday <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite holiday is christmas and yeah. it's it, it's uh, it's i think it's like you know <laughs> the reason yeah the catholic child is is more like you said the more of the the uh because that's the time, like, you know, we're all together. Um, you know, it's less for, for me about presents and material things and, and all of that, but it's more like there's so many fun songs. Like, I like singing the, the songs. I like, you know, mm -hmm. decorating the tree. I like seeing the, the kids happy. Um, you know, so it's that that for me is, is more of a, you know, that, that kind of a, special time of year type of, of feeling for it but you know you eliminate the 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 presents and stuff i i still would enjoy it. i still would say let's have a let's have a day that you know we can get together and we can uh you know just be warm together right, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. you know just kind of put that uh that create that atmosphere of, you know, let's, let's sing, let's dance, let's enjoy life. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, this is fun. And this is the first in uh, uh, a new style of uh, videos that we're going to be making here where we kind of debate topics and start a discussion and then, and, you know, things that we observed in the world. And that's why we started here. We said that, you know, you can change things on an individual level, but, you're gonna feel a lot of societal pressure if you're kind of breaking the mold, so to speak. So if we can start a kind of a, a more global discussion about it, maybe we can start to make some significant changes in how holidays, how we celebrate holidays, and and therefore we can kind of alter how it affects our emotional, physical, and mental health as well. Right. All right, man. Well, it was all. It's always lovely to catch up with you, bro. Um, yeah. We'll be at. We'll be back here with another uh, topic soon. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for joining, guys. Talk to you later. Love you, bro. Peace. Love you too.